Okay, this is Ubiquitron. I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. I'm in sandbox mode. Um, so the other day, I sat down with Nike1136. If you're not watching this channel, go watch it. It's kind of odd. An eclectic assortment of games and, and mutterings. But, uh, so we sat down and we played Kerbal Space Program together. He was obviously playing on his screen and I was playing on mine. We were doing a, a screen share over Google Chat. And so I was able to watch as he built the same ship we were I was building. So we basically have a an identical version of this ship on both of our games. Uh, I called mine the Orbital Special. And it turns out it's quite a versatile ship. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to upgrade it ever so slightly. I'm going to get rid of this single solar panel. March, if you're, if you're watching, um, you should probably do the same to your setup. I'm going to add the... 1x6 photovoltaic sails uh, on a, a double or mirror symmetry. So there we go, there's that. Uh, one thing we didn't have for the orbiter craft is RCS fuel uh, and possibly some light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decouple under this small engine. Uh, that way we can click on the center of mass. And so our center of mass is roughly at that uh, torque wheel, which is good. And that's where it needs to be. But we're going to plop a RCS tank there, that there, and some RCS thrusters, which I'm going to use the multi-directional ones. And we're going to do four-way symmetry. We're going to put those right here and right here and that should get us good control all the way around then we're gonna reattach that <clears throat> looks good so we have a maneuvering stage and our basic orbital craft it has a heat shield on the bottom along with parachutes in the event that we can actually get it back to the uh, planet it has the the orbital insertion stage or the orbital maneuvering stage this allows us to build orbits and uh, do transfers. I know this ship will make it out to the Moon. And it'll even make it out to Minmus. And then we have the lift stage. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and we're going to launch. All right, so we're we're good to go. We've funneled up the torque wheels on. So let's uh, go ahead and launch. We're actually in a pretty good position to get to the Moon. So I'm going to go ahead and lean a little bit into that orbit. We've extensively tested this ship. Uh, by extensively, I mean we've I've put it on two missions, two successful ish missions. Successful ish. Now, it's not as efficient because we added that extra weight to the RCS controls and uh, fuel, but it's still within the realm of possibility to get this to the moon. Oh, so much for all those tanks. So we're going to go ahead and turn into our orbit. So we have a nice, lovely view in our launch window of the Moon and Minmus. We're about to run out of tank on our mainsail. So let me kill the throttle. Let's see where we're at right here. We're at 223,000 meters. So from there, let's add a maneuver. So let's see if we can't, can't, uh, oh, that's Minmus. That's too far. I don't want to do the min, do Minmus. Oh, too much. So we're going to build this orbit. That's too, too wide. Can we, let's actually swing this in a bit. Let's see if we can't come up behind it. Nope. Oh, there we go. So there's our orbit. That's that's good enough. I think we can work with this. This is a nice shallow pass. There we go. It's a nice shallow pass. And we still maintain a carbon orbit. That's a minute 28 burn, so that's not good at all. So I'm going to go ahead and start 
uh, just go ahead and throttle up. We got 1,700 meters a second to kill, but roughly 700 meters a second on launch. So if we can kind of do this now, we should be able to use our maneuvering thrusters to uh, make any fine corrections on the way up. So let's look at, where's our debris? A debris, looking good. That's on our return path. Oh, did he eat narcoberries? So, what we can do, though, is extend these panels. Extend that panel. And now we should be able to maintain power throughout the entire, entirety of our maneuvers. we got 600 meters a second to burn. We just achieved orbit. And there we go. So, 400 meters a second to burn. Now this mission I think is just going to be to the moon and back. Uh, probably a little more planning and uh, some sort of understanding of trigonometry would have helped uh, in making this a little bit easier and maybe a little patience, but I have none of those. So we've pretty much burned through most of our fuel and now we're in orbit again. So kill that. So let's have a look at our current trajectory, which is not good. I should have been paying attention. No. So add maneuver. So now we have to go through and undo a lot of the damage that I just did. So that's a 16 second burn. Maybe instead, let's, let's kill that, add a maneuver, and just burn this way. Is that going to matter? No, we also need to burn retrograde. Because currently we're just burning into oblivion. We're trying to minimize our fuel use. That doesn't seem to be working very well. So that we got 24 seconds. I should have stuck with what I had. So let's Kill that as well. Add maneuver. Fire retrograde. And hope for the best. So that's 17 seconds. That's the best we can hope for at this moment. So there's our little... I don't think we have enough fuel for that. I need like... Instead of... Oh, I'm also barely maintaining an orbit. I need, um, instead of fuel levels, I need like seconds of, of thrust at full throttle. That would probably be a little bit more helpful than just a fuel level, a random fuel level. So we got 21 minutes. Let's warp to the next maneuver. Ah, oh, that is the best function added ever. I like watching the orbital decays of the, of the debris. So 17 seconds. This is going to be a death knoll for for Hilna Kerman. We might have to launch this one again. So there's the planet. The moon should be coming up behind us. Yep. So seven half of 17 seconds is roughly nine seconds. So we got 30 seconds to burn. So I'm gonna speed up ever so slightly. Eleven, ten, nine and a half. There we go. Hopefully our fuel holds out. It's not looking good though. <clears throat> I don't think we'll have enough to. Oh, this just keeps. Oh. So where are we currently? Well, so here's the thing. We will be returning. Uh, we will live to launch another day. So let's first, oh, I guess we don't really need to deorbit. So I'm going to turn off the torque wheel. Uh, we're going to come here and we're going to warp to here.
Is that the planet? Yes. This is the wide swing. Oh, gosh. Time warp complete. Oh, maybe that was the moon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's get the ship lined up on our retrograde. So when we do hit the atmosphere, we're not surprised. Let's tuck away these solar panels. So that was not successful. We will launch this one again. Um, ah, perfect timing. So we're going to keep the nose pointed at the retrograde. We're also moving at three kilometers a second, which is extremely fast. I did no aero braking whatsoever, but we also didn't have any fuel, so that's kind of not bad. So as soon as we start, stop burning, oh no, that's not good. down a bit there we go oh everything survived so we're 6,000 meters up Whew, that was a close one so I'm gonna drop the shoots those are really tiny I remember those being bigger and we're gonna turn off the torque wheel and we're gonna time warp Oh, that might not <laughs> those are extremely tiny yeah we're still moving at 40 meters a second so I don't think things are going to survive yeah maybe oh the captain go team All right, so we made it. So let's revert flight. So what we need to do now is to ensure that we start this orbital turn much sooner. So we're going to keep roughly 10 degrees until the SOVs run out. This is a very, very quick lift. Now, before we added all the RCS controls, uh, we were getting roughly 8,000 meters before this was cut out. So we're a little bit short now. So now that that has gone out, we're going to tip this over almost as far as we can without tipping the whole craft over. We're going to get the, the actual prograde vector about 45 degrees. Oh, oh that was the surface exploding. And maybe a little lower because we're already at 20,000 meters and rising. So we should, should, I'm moving about Mach 4, still in the atmosphere, so that might also be a problem, I might have cut it too short. So let's have a look, see where we're at, 145 and rising, so this is a lot more efficient than previous attempts, so once again, we're just going to keep burning on this stage, This should burn for a while. And we've entered space. And basically I want to get this carbon apoapsis, so I think we're good enough on the orbit. I'm gonna point the nose up into our retro or our prograde and just watch this take off. So this stage only. How are we doing on fuel? Not so great. But this should get us a good po portion of the way out there and I should be able to make some correction some corrections okay there we go all right so from here add maneuver I think that's all everything that we wanted to burn we can burn or we have burned so all oh, perfect that's a 22 second burn we might be coming in a little fast, but that is actually, let's go around and look at this. That's actually 
quite nice because this is a pretty good orbit pretty much built into our path so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to warp to next maneuver and obviously the solar panels aren't really gonna do much at this point and watch there's our debris and our time warping Ah, so now I could probably turn this solar panels on. And there's our target. All right, time warp complete. Let's extend these panels. Now that we're definitely out of the atmosphere, let's line up our... our uh... So I think in the end, I probably shouldn't have added this RCS set because it's not really going to do anything for us. Everything uh, pretty much worked on its own beforehand and since we have that torque wheel this torque wheel works great for a smaller craft so i think i might go back and uh pull all this rcs stuff off but we're coming on 24 seconds at 22 seconds is our burn time so at 11 seconds we need to begin our burn three two one let's go only got so much to burn so I'm gonna watch the map this time just to be safe because last time I really screwed that up <clears throat> and I've also found out you can hit Z to go full throttle like straight full throttle I did not know that and there we go perfect let's go look at it on this end it's a little bit high that's not to worry none to worry and I can do some fine-tuning actually so we can use this RCS thrusters to fine-tune our orbit just a bit. Oh, that's beautiful. So now I want to warp to this part of our orbit right before our encounter. So there's Minmus way out there. There's the Mun catching up with us like so. Uh, Minmus is actually still way out there. So we're gonna, I'm gonna manually time warp to this point. That's a four minute. Okay, so now this is our moon orbit. We have quite, actually quite a pretty good orbit here. So I'm gonna turn off RCS thrusters and fire retrograde. So retrograde turn those on and I can actually adjust quite a bit of our stuff here and I also want to point towards the ground so like this <clears throat> and that is gonna close up our periapsis quite a bit it sounds kind of dirty and I'm, I'm doing this only with RCS thrusters so if I can get that down to let's do 25 5 that's good and then I can use regular thrusters to slow down our burn here. So we got 18 and 71, which is not quite where I want to be. So there we go. 66 and 25, 30 and 25, Whoa. 26, 26. That's good. That is a 21 second burn. So that's pretty amazing. So what I want to do is warp to next maneuver. And we're still in a curve in orbit if once we break a lunar orbit. So I'm going to line up on this. 21 seconds is roughly 11 seconds again. Uh, March, if you're watching this, this is the epitome of efficiency. Uh, and I do believe I have at least 21 seconds of fuel left. And then I don't know if we have enough to break orbit and return to Kerbin. That might be a different video. But as soon as I set this orbit, we're going to call it for the day. Uh, so let's see. Oh, the lag. So I can probably turn off my RCS thrusters. I could probably maybe even kill 270 meters with the RCS thrusters alone. But I won't. 
We're, I'm going to save that fuel for in case we need help boosting out of the atmosphere. Or out of the atmosphere, out of lunar orbit. So there we go. We've set an orbit, it looks like. And I'm really going to have to try, like, really going to have to work hard to use the fuel we have left to return to Kerbin. That's going to be firing. Oh, no. Kill it, kill it. Okay. So let me turn this on. And let's see. Yeah, we I may have gone just a bit too far. Manually set that 24, 24, 25, 25, 25, 7, 26, 8. Ah, that's good enough. So close that, turn off RCS, map. So there's Kerbin, there's the Mun. Uh, Minmus is back there somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's still way back there. It, it might actually still be... It's somewhere over here, but it's too far to see. So there we go. Uh, lunar Orbit using the orbital special you can see two bodies three bodies in one pick one view sun moon and earth Kerbin, whatever it is called so there we go uh this is ubiquitron playing kerbal space program in the sandbox mode and we will see you in the future